Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, March 23rd, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through the basic usage of the XML parser to parse documents. As an example, I wanted to bring up this little file, and this is an XML file with a listing of books in XML format, so not a terribly complicated file, no associated DTD. So let's move that aside and see how the basic API works. We'll try this. Process document and file name with the bookstore as the file, and we'll inspect that. Now you see what we have is an exception, and the reason is, by default, parser validation is turned on, meaning it's going to assume there's a DTD and look for it. There's no DTD in this case, so it gives me an error. So I don't want that to error out. I'd like to tell it there's no validation going on here, and there's an API for that. Before scan do, hand it a block. The block takes the parser as an argument and allows you to parameterize the parser first. So here I tell it, well, turn validation off. So let's try that and see what happens. So we do this, inspect. I'll proceed because I've actually done some experimentation. I have that variable defined. So here I have my XML document. So it came back, and I've got my instance of the document. Now let's close that, move down a little bit. It turns out that you can also hand it strings. So if you had the XML created on the fly, for instance, you could hand it a string. So here I'm going to simulate that just by grabbing the whole thing into memory. And this, again, is going to have validation turned on by default because I'm not turning it off. So watch, you're going to get an exception. But you can work around that too because this one also has this API where you can tell it process the string and before scan do this. So we'll do that, do an inspect, and again we get our document. So that's mostly the API you need to work with. Now if you want to actually do this kind of step by step, you can also do that. So what you can do is grab your content, tell the parser that you want to create a new instance, tell the parser to turn validation off, and then tell it to parse. So if you want to do it step by step, you can also do this do an inspect and get the document. So really there's the simple APIs that you can find in classic XML parser and then there's this more long-winded form of actually creating and instantiating it. So over here if we go to XML parser that's pretty well documented here in the comment and if you go to the class side you can see over here under instance creation the APIs I was using and here you can see that it hands it a, an empty block for before scan do so these ones that don't hand it a block they hand it a basic block and that will assume that there's a DTD. So if you have DTDs, you just want to use the basic APIs. If you don't have DTDs, you want to hand it this block and tell it in the block, turn parsing validation off. So that's really all there is to using the XML parser. You'll get back a document and from there you can do whatever it is you need to do. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.